Mary Rothschild, who was in charge of Promotions Limited, which was a plug outfit. You know what plug outfits were? <clears throat> in those days, if you were able to use on your show the name of a product, they would send you a case of liquor or, or a, uh, a waffle iron or something. And uh, she phoned me and told me that one of the writers had been let out of the skeleton show. So I went immediately to the skeleton show and uh, I said, I, I have my resume here. And they said, with Larry Ryan, we don't need a resume. C. Sparker, who was the producer, said, uh, you're on the show as of now. And uh, Eddie Simmons was head writer and he was very much in my corner all the time. He just passed away recently. He was uh, the original partner of Norman Lear. It was Simmons and Lear. So uh, I often tell the story that on the opening show, Eddie, Sim Eddie said to me, do you want to meet Skelton? And I said, well, if I'm going to work with him, certainly. So I went backstage, and Skelton was visiting the uh, visiting firemen who were back there. You know, nice to meet you, too. May God bless, and so forth. And so uh, I finally, uh, Eddie says, I want you to meet Larry Ryan. Oh, may God bless. He says, he's a new writer. And he let go of my hand like it was charged with electricity. And uh, it bothered him. Uh, and to be fair, he had gone through burlesque and had gone through uh, early radio and had gone through the stage and movies. And a lot of these characters uh, had been created by himself and by writers. And he just didn't want someone coming on the show for 10 minutes and saying, I write uh, uh, Red Skelton stuff. So it bothered him, bothered him considerably. <laughs>